get quite as much attention that I just wanted to bring your attention to today. He said, uh, he essentially reasoned this, it is illogical that we should uh, require our uh, African American citizens uh, to lead separate and their, and therefore in his eyes inherently unequal uh, positions. And one reason he said is that's because we allow Chinese Americans to sit with whites. Uh, I'm quoting from his opinion, there is a race so different from our own that we do not permit those belonging to it to become citizens of the United States referring, I think, to the Chinese Exclusion Act. Persons belonging to it are, with few exceptions, absolutely excluded from our country. I allude to the Chinese race. But by the statute in question, a Chinaman, that's his word, can ride the same passenger coach with white citizens of the United States, while citizens of the black race in Louisiana, many of whom perhaps risked their lives for the preservation of the Union, who are entitled by law to participate in the political control of the state and nation who are not excluded by law uh, or reason of their race from public stations of any kind and who have all the legal rights that belong to white citizens are yet declared to be criminals liable to imprisonment if they ride the public coach occupied by citizens of the white race. Well, that's, uh, again, Justice Harlan is rightfully celebrated as being against separate but equal. But what that tends to show is that even great men, even men of good will, uh, sometimes are, suffer from preconceptions about that they cannot overcome. Uh, a few years earlier in, uh, in dissenting from uh, another case, United States uh, versus Wong, uh, Wong Kim Ark, which actually established the principle of birthright citizenship, he dissented uh, from granting the rights of citizenship to someone of Chinese descent who was born in the United States. And, and in a lecture to, uh, citizen, uh, to law students just before the case, he told them that the Chinese had long been excluded by American society upon the idea that this is a race utterly foreign to us and will never assimil 